Most of us will go out of our way to help a family member. But on September 25th, 1989, in San Jose, California, Tammy Brady had second thoughts when her younger sister, Samantha, approached her with an unusual request. I was taking a ceramics class in college, and the teacher asked if any of the students wanted to do body molds. I thought it would be great to do my sister's torso. Uh, so. She was pregnant at the time, so I thought she'd have a nice shape to her. She was only like three months pregnant, and at that time, you're not really showing, but uh, how to put this, you're pretty well endowed. Are you sure it won't take long? No, it won't take long. Me and my sister didn't get along very much when we were growing up. The teacher explained everything to me. She always picked on me and got me really good. We'll just do it in the bedroom. I'm gonna trust you. Okay. One time we had bought really long pixie sticks. She told me to cut the end of the sticks and make a straw and suck it up. About died. Once it gets a little thicker, it's gonna warm up. It won't be that cold. Okay. So we'll have fun with it. How do you put it on? I'm just gonna use my hands. You're positive you know what you're doing. She was a little nervous at first to lay down and do this. I've no. never been plastered before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. But I think at this point she was pretty sure that everything was going to go okay. Yeah, so it's starting to get thick. So why don't you just go ahead and take your top off and lay down and we'll, I'll just start applying it. Let's get yeah. ironing up pretty quick. Here we go. Yeah, I never did anything like body molds before. I just maybe made a cup or a bowl. <laughs> okay, let me get some up here real quick. So it's really cold. But... I thought it would be very simple, you know. This is really getting hot. Well, it's going to get a little warm. Did okay, you well, you got to hurry. This, this stuff's getting really hot. Within a couple of minutes, it was really hard. No, it's burning. It's hot. I know. It's hot. When my sister okay. starts to panic, she repeats herself. It's going to be tight. Just let me... This is what it's supposed to do? It's supposed to do all this? Yes. So I told her, only take a couple more minutes and we'll take it off. You're done in a minute, okay? Sam, you got to take it off. Take just it take off. It off. Take, just... Get it off. Oh, jeez. Please, just get it off. It's hot. But she said, no, I want it off now. Oh, no. Shoot. What? What? At that point, it dawned on me that I forgot to put oil on her. You forgot the oil. That's what keeps the plaster from sticking to your skin. Well, I forgot. I got so excited. I just realized it was a disaster. If it's not coming off, it's just Get it off. I'm trying. It's burning. Ugh. It's ripping. It's ripping. It's hurting. That Don't hurts. get mad at me, okay? All right, let me go to the kitchen and get some oil. Hold on. When Pauline Brady came home from work, it had already been 30 minutes since her daughter Tammy had been encased. When I went into the bedroom, I was a little stunned. Oh my God, Tammy, are you all right? I have worked with plaster repairs, and I expected it to be about three quarters of an inch thick, and this thing was like four inches thick. You forgot the oil? Yes, How do you forget, forget the, oil. Like the oil? The plaster is so tight that there is just really no area to put the oil in. Go, go. We received a call of children playing with plaster of Paris, and one of them was stuck in a kind of a cast. Captain Ron Tomasello led the city of San Jose Fire Rescue Unit dispatched to the scene. I thought possibly they were uh, playing the old doctor and nurse role, and we can just take it off and be on our way. Okay, Tammy, I call the fire department on our way, but I'm going to try hammering some of this off, okay? What? I thought maybe if I got a hammer and tapped on it a little bit, it might crack. But the hammer was bouncing off of the plaster. It wasn't cracking it at all. The rescue unit, including firefighter Rod Villa, arrived within four minutes of the call. It's stuck. As we walked into the bedroom, we found this was not kids playing with plaster of Paris. Oh, you didn't put any oil at all? In the training that we have, they tell us how to put out fires, how to stretch hose lines and get people out of wrecked automobiles, but there's nothing in our books that tell us how to get a plaster cast off somebody's chest. Let's try soaking it in the bathtub. You're not supposed to get cast wet. We decided that if we could wet it down, maybe we would be able to break it easier. We use a sheet right here and we can roll it up and okay. do like a sheet pick. The lye in the plaster of Paris was actually causing a chemical burn to her skin. So we needed to get this off of her in a hurry. Okay, Ron, come around. Wait, 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 wait a minute, how are we going to... Come right around. Okay, well, I'd have to get in. No, I'll just get in. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, put it down easy, easy, easy. We used our hands to rub across where we were pouring the water, basically trying to wear down the plaster. But it was going to take us a long time. Here's the ball. The firemen were very professional. I guess they've seen a lot of strange things, and this was just one amongst many. Try a hammer and see if we can tap it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tap this one. Just, just, just be Watch careful. Your hands. Okay. Oh, not too hard. I'm pregnant. You wet? When we found out she was pregnant, we wanted to take precautions and not use too much force. We drilled holes in different locations, and then we took the turkey baster and filled that with oil and squirted it into the holes. No, Ron, can you give me the blade of the hacksaw? Sure. Our next step was to take a saw blade and score across the plaster of Paris in sections, and maybe that would release the, um, the adherence to the skin. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. Okay. I'm just kind of letting it I was really upset that I put my sister through this. It really was for a school project. It was never a planned plot to get her back. Yeah, he's not going any deeper than the width okay. of the blade. At that point, Tammy saw that the firemen were young and good looking, and then she realized when this thing came off, she's going to be sitting there with nothing on. She was starting to get a little embarrassed, and I told her, I said, don't worry about it. I said, just think of them as professionals like doctors. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ready? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, just don't look. Close your eyes. Okay. We took a cold chisel and a hammer and just barely tapped along the line that we had made. Okay, let's try here. Okay. Okay, okay. You're doing okay. Keep your eyes closed. Don't look. Okay. Okay, let's try. Let me try to wiggle it. Let me try to wiggle it. Okay. 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 I think it's got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Let's try. I was relieved that they were finally getting pieces off, but then I noticed that it was right over her breast. And she, at that time, was very embarrassed, and, and I kind of laughed about it. I thought it was kind of funny. Watch your neck. Watch okay. your neck. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. You're doing fine. These guys are my heroes. Yeah. Okay. One more. That's it. They were very gentle and very kind. Good. And they were like three musketeers coming to my rescue. It was great. Okay. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Great. All right. Oh, All right. You feel better now? When she finally got this thing off, it was like, I'm free again. There you go. It was a weight off her chest, I know, and it was a weight off our minds knowing that we were able to help her. Five years have passed since the incident. Tammy wasn't too happy with me. But if my sister had ever given me the chance again to do this, I know I could do it right. Now you remember. You need to oil it's the panda. Hand. That'll be the last time I let my sister talk me into doing a mold for a school project. Never again. Never again. How nice. She was lovely. It's been years now, and she hasn't gotten me back yet. So I don't know if she's still plotting a revenge or if we've just uh, put it in the past. It looks good. Mine didn't turn out very well. It's been sick like yours. The lesson to be learned from this is don't listen to your sister, no matter what she does. I don't know if Tammy and Sam will ever learn a lesson. From where I'm at, I'm waiting for the next one. I can't even imagine what's going to be next.